Hello everyone, I am uh, Dr. Vasudev Bhatt, Professor and Head, Division of Pediatric Hematology and Oncology at Kasturba Medical College and Kasturba Hospital, Manipal. So today I will be discussing about childhood cancers and whenever the topic childhood cancer comes, the first question that comes is, is it common to see childhood cancers and what is the difference between a childhood cancer and an adult cancer? So childhood cancers are quite common and uh, it is estimated, especially in our country, that almost 75 to 80,000 children per year are diagnosed with childhood cancers. These cancers are much different from the ones that is seen in adults for two reasons. One is the cause, the second is the type of cancers. In adults, generally there is an etiology, for example, smoking, tobacco chewing, alcohol, but in children, these risk factors are not there. And the second thing is the type of tumours that we see. In adults, usually lung, cervix, thyroid malignancies, breast cancers. But in children, the commonest cancer that we see is blood cancers, also called as acute leukemias. So the next thing that looks into is what are the clinical features of these uh, childhood cancers? How are they diagnosed? So amongst all the childhood cancers, like I had mentioned before, blood cancers are the commonest one. And in blood cancers, the symptoms include prolonged fever, usually lasting for more than two weeks, along with some features like bone pains, or the child becomes more pale over time, or there may be bleeding manifestations. So for a blood cancer, it is usually diagnosed by performing simple blood tests called as complete blood count, which will tell us the hemoglobin, the platelet count, and the WBC count. And when we look at the peripheral smear, these abnormal cells can be found on the smear, which leads to a probable diagnosis of acute leukemia, which needs to be later confirmed by specialized tests called as flow cytometry, which is done usually on a bone marrow sample. The next commonest type of cancer that is usually seen in children includes brain tumors. And the symptoms of brain tumors include headache, vomiting, and uh, gait imbalance, etc. So for brain tumors, the diagnostic modality will be different. You will require neuroimaging by doing a CT scan or a MRI scan, which will help us to diagnose the tumor. When it comes to treatment, as to what is the treatment that is usually given for childhood cancers, it differs from the type of tumors. For example, a blood cancer is usually treated using chemotherapy, whereas tumors in the organs like brain, or it could be on a bone or any other site, usually requires a multidisciplinary approach with chemotherapy, surgery, as well as radiation in many. But when it comes to the treatment side effects and the treatment outcomes, usually children do not have any other comorbidities like diabetes, hypertension, or liver dysfunction, kidney dysfunction. So the tolerance to chemotherapy is generally better compared to that in adults. and Compared to adults, they respond much better to chemotherapy and the outcomes generally is more than 80% in our country. In the West, the outcomes are much higher, more than 90 to 95%. In our country, we still see a lot of delayed diagnosis, children presenting at an advanced stage or these children can come after multiple systems of medicines or multiple opinions. Hence, the outcomes are a little inferior compared to that in the West. So next is usually what parents ask us are what are the potential risks involved in treatment of cancer and what are the late long-term side effects. So in children, generally the treatments are tolerated very well. Uh, there will be side effects secondary to chemotherapy, most commonest being nausea, vomiting, headache, constipation, diarrhea, some ulcers in the mouth, some skin depigmentation. But it is always important to remember that the treatment has to go in time. And if there are side effects, the side effects need to be treated. Like I mentioned before, compared to adults, these side effects are much lower in children and are manageable if identified early. Another commonest question that parents and general public ask us is what is the treatment outcome and can these children be actually cured for life? Can they go to school? So yes, there is a chance that most of the cancers can be cured if diagnosed on time and treated adequately. More than 80 to 90% of them can rejoin school after completion of the intensive therapy and can continue having a normal life. 
compared to adults commonest question that is asked is can screening identify childhood cancers no they cannot so unlike in adults where we can screen for breast cancers and uh, other type of cancers like cervical cancers there is no lead time that is achieved by screening children there is only one tumor called as retinoblastoma which is in the eye which can be screened for which is usually done at the time of vaccination so to conclude childhood cancers are extremely curable provided they are diagnosed early and treated appropriately under the guidance of trained physicians and these children can actually have a normal life and can rejoin school and be a normal citizens of the country thank you